Well, it's January 10th. Have you already broken your New Year's resolutions? Well, if you have, don't beat yourself up too badly. Studies show less than 20% of us keep our resolutions at all. But there are strategies to help you be successful. UW Health Distinguished Psychologist Shiloh Mergain joins us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Welcome Shiloh. Back. Happy 2023. So only 20% of people make it this far. Yes. What are we doing wrong? <laughs> well, the point is that we there's a tremendous motivation the start of the year to get motivated and make all these big changes that aren't realistic. And instead, I'd like us to think about making resolutions or goals any time throughout the year. Although January is a nice time to start, most people set goals that don't in a way that doesn't allow them to be successful and in particular I think we want to think about our successes from last year instead of I have to change everything think about what went well the things you achieved the growth you accomplished and use that as a building block to set goals frequently throughout the year do you do that yourself do you do make New Year's resolutions or you sprinkle them throughout the year I do but I'm also one who can fall off the wagon <laughs> and so I believe in setting goals throughout the year because it builds momentum it helps us stay on track with our health, it boosts our mood, and it can really help us create memorable and rewarding years and year ahead. Well, it's good to hear that you're among <laughs> everyone else with the same struggles, but how do you make these kinds of goals that are realistic and that are achievable. Right, we want them to be attainable and I think of the acronym SMART. You want them specific and small, measurable, that achievable or attainable, um, also relevant, something that's important to you, not something you should do, but something that's meaningful and then time-based. So you also time-based, I'm sorry. Yeah, so setting a goal within a week or two or a couple of weeks, not something you're gonna do five years from uh, now. Good. So you say uh, anticipate obstacles by creating what if then statements exactly so if we anticipate ahead of time what could go wrong what could derail us what could get in the way and then come up with a plan so if this happens then i'll do that research shows that we're much more likely to stay on track and keep that momentum and motivation to really do the small steps to to achieve that goal and it's hard to to not beat yourself up and feel like oh i can't stick to anything what is wrong with me it's perfectly normal, really. Isn't Absolutely, it? and criticism and self-judgment rarely, <laughs> rarely are good fuel that we can use towards our goals. Instead, just be kind to yourself and think about what is one small step I can do to get back on track. Yeah, the health club I go to, you have to register for a class. I couldn't get in last weekend. This coming weekend, wide open. So it's a couple of weeks, I guess. <laughs> right, yeah, right. they do. They do say the fitness industry at the start of the year. You know, everyone gets their memberships, but then you know, a week or two, no one's there. So maybe make a March resolution. I love that. Yeah, March resolution, even or end a birthday. Of January or birthday. Yeah, and one thing to think about is just pick one word that can encapsulate what you want to experience this year. It could be peace. It could be health. It could be connection. For me, um, one of mine is just well-being, just yeah. feeling well in person. And, and sometimes that can be a guiding light that we can steer by and that can really give us that clarity of what's most important and then we can put our focus there, keep our attention there. That's a great idea. It's almost like a mission statement. Yeah, yeah but just one Focus word. on one just word. One word. I like one that. word. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte, good advice as usual. Uh, great Thanks. to be here. Happy New Year. Well. Oh, next time we see you, the baby will be almost a year old, right? <gasps> almost. I, we're we're counting down just, the days. Is she walking yeah. yet? Uh, she's standing. Oh, <laughs> she's reading. Yeah. She's yeah. 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 Not quite on the internet. <laughs> That's her goal, to get to walking. <laughs> right. Shiloh, thank you. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Shiloh.